Well, what's up everybody? John from Old Reading Farm here. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we are going to reunite our emu dad with his emu children. So, oh, by the way, as I try to say in every emu video that we have, uh, yo soy un uh, americano estupido. I am a stupid American. And because of that, I say emu and not emu. Now the correct way to pronounce it is emu, like the Pokemon, Mew, Mewtwo. <laughs> but since I am a stupid American, I'm just gonna continue to say emu because uh, I feel more comfortable saying that for whatever reason. So one of our previous videos, we showed you the situation with dad and he is actually doing way better, even though, so what's happening is we have segregated dad over there. We have two females on this side and you know, he has been struggling and he looks like hell. So you're gonna see him here. So you see he's got a huge scab on his leg, missing a ton of feathers. All that red stuff is actually red coat. It is not blood, so. He is fine, but you know, in the last video, he was just sitting here. He has been walking and moving around really, really well. He's been eating a lot and his feathers are starting to come back in. It's probably gonna take a while, but. So after breeding season, dad went and sat on some eggs. I think he sat on six or seven total eggs and we had five of them hatch out. I think it was five, four or five. We have them on the porch currently and it's just, you know, it's time for them to uh, get outside. So what I'm gonna do here today is because we are bringing the littles out here, I am gonna fix our electric fence. So we, or electric fence, we just really had just a hot wire and this should be off. So hopefully this won't shock me, but you can see this little wire up here. So we had a hot wire that went all the way around, um, but it broke a couple of different times so um but by then the emus were like big enough that they can handle anything but since we are bringing the littles out here i'm going to do two things i'm going to fix that hot wire reconnect it to everything and then um i'm going to also see if i have some hardware cloth which i believe i do and put it around the bottom of the barn so again i think with the combination of all these emus we should be totally safe from predators, but I would rather just double check and make sure. So I'm gonna take a run around to do that and I'll check back in. All right, so this is the main problem that we've had. Now this must have been like, so we've had, especially in the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of branches come down and they'll land right on this and pull it off. So the way that this needs to work is this needs to be a circuit. So that is a solar powered charger. So that provides the charge to this here wire. Now, in order for this wire to hold a charge, it's gotta be insulated because it can't be touching anything. So that's why you have these little plastic insulators. And so I had previously had this screwed onto this tree, but due to a branch or whatever, it pulled it off. So I just need to go through and fix this. And then I need to run some over by the house. And I think there's a couple places Oh, no, that actually looks good. So I just need to go through, I think there's only a few of these to just check. I'll need to probably replace this thing. Um, and I think there's a couple places where the wire broke, so I'll just need to splice it in, make sure it's not touching anything. And then we should be good. All right, so this is the last one that I need to actually fix right here. And so basically I just need to rewrap the wire, which is really hard to do with one hand. So I'm gonna stop, but the reason why I pulled the camera out is so we built this two years ago and it's crazy to just see like the tree already eating this wire. It's, it's just crazy, you know, I know this is just a little sapling, so maybe it's growing a lot. So we had, to, we put in some posts, posts of just regular logs because this was all built, well, this pen anyway, was built before we had the sawmill or no, was it? No, because we built that. I don't even know, who knows? But uh, anyway, it's just cool to see like the growth 
of that tree just like swallowing up this wire. So anyway, uh, so this is the last one that I need to do here. And then I need to, what I need to do next is run the wire across the top. Okay, so the wire goes at the top of the fence all the way around. And then since part of the fence is the, the house, I'll need to screw some into the top there and have it come down and join that other wire. But almost done with the electric, which is pretty good. Right, so we are all set. We should have it all connect. So the next thing I'm gonna do is turn on the charger, which uh, is gonna be an interesting thing to get to because it's over there. I have to get on the other side of the fence. But anyway, gonna do that. Uh, I was gonna spray the dad over here with some blue coat, but it looks like our blue coat can is busted and no good. Uh, anyway, so let's go check on the charger. All right, so we seem to be all set. I used my little voltage tester and everything. I was actually pretty proud of myself. Because in order to test the voltage, you need to hook this metal hook onto the wire and then put... and have this little probe stuck in the ground. But since this wire up here is too tall to stick it in the ground, I actually connected a little thing here in order to test it. So I can hook that on there stick this in the ground and then I don't know if this is going to come across oh yeah but you can see that it is clicking so that is great all right so now that that's all done next step is to go around and uh, add some ch uh, hardware cloth around the barn oh, I hate working with hardware cloth. It just stabs you and stabs you and stabs you. It's the worst. But anyway, got it all laid down. So that is great. I have a bunch of other things that I want to do today. Uh, but so we are all set to bring the babies down here, which I think we will do tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, maybe tomorrow afternoon. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I will check back in with you in a minute, but it'll be tomorrow. you running around <laughs> and lying down yeah that's your baby running around like crazy over there what are you doing that's your baby that's one of the gabbies so what do you think dad we got you your babies are you so happy <laughs> looks like he said yes 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 my shirt's a little worse for the wear, although. Okay, let me show. Not that it was in impeccable shape to begin with, but they also ripped my shorts. I have a couple scratches. There, so the thing about emus is their legs are so incredibly important to develop properly because they are super strong. Yeah. And so it's like when we're bringing them down here, we stuck them in the horse trailer and we couldn't film it because there's just too much going on between opening all the doors and then sort of Catherine running interference with the uh, the girl emus because we just weren't sure how they were going to react. But so, dad's been pretty good. They, the babies freaked out the second they got in here 
and like the first one we put in was running into all of the walls but once we got more of them in there they're doing much better so we got these two in here and then we got these three over here so we have five babies And so eventually we'll take this and move it further that way so that these guys all have much more room. But for the time being, we just wanted to keep dad and them separate. Cause you guys are jerks. But so they're still a little, a little frightened. But, and they're probably still gonna be a little scared of dad, but you know, as long as he's not chasing them, they should be fine. Oh. <laughs> Being nice over here? He was such a good dad and he did such a good job hatching these eggs. Hopefully he knows who they are, but I think he'll be a good dad and a good protector. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm sure us being here isn't helping with their stress level. So we're just going to go grab a smaller water dish for them and bring them some kale and then leave them the hell alone. And we'll probably check on them throughout the day, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.